Look, there's bad people of every race, you know? There's good people of every race. The media is totally fueled by stereotypes and, you know, these cliche ideals of who certain people are by, you know, how they look, what gender they are, what race they are. African Americans get a bad rap in the media. On our, like, TV news channel back home, he would probably be in, like, the shooting in, like, downtown Des Moines. This first young man would be portrayed in the media, I think, because he's a good athlete or he was arrested for some crime he committed. The second young man, I think, would be portrayed in the media as a scholar or an achiever. It's almost a shame how people have like, stereotyped so quickly now. I think everyone's experience with the media and how they're portrayed is different. The way media expresses themselves, like how they, the perfect ideal body, the perfect way to dress. Well, since I'm not really the most popular person in school. I guess people don't always like get to know me because I'm not the coolest. I think that the stories are irrelevant to my life. Well, it'd make me feel smarter, I guess, like up to date. Like it would make me feel like I know what's going on in the world. Tech savvy, <laughs> feeling like I know how to use this stuff. I'm ashamed almost because we know so little about what's going on, especially teens. Like, not many people in our age group pay attention to current events and the world around them. I feel like not enough teens do. I feel like most teens get their media from Facebook. Uh, I don't pay attention to the media on a daily basis. Always on the social media, seeing what's going on in the world. Yeah, I like to stay connected. I use App USA Today for a lot of my global news, which I think is awesome. I read the news, I read Twitter, I watch, you know, the news every day.